we're, we're dealing with the kinsman redeemer but I've got to deviate a little bit and talk about the whole idea of giving because when God has blessed you with and called you if you will to be a kinsman redeemer and you don't have a healthy spiritual respect for what giving is all about you violate the spiritual principle and the eternal order of God by hoarding to yourself and for selfish reasons those things that were meant for you to be a blessing to someone in need so you were a medium you were a go-between that God allowed to be used by him. One of the problems that I notice is that we don't have a biblical, healthy, spiritual understanding of giving. Whatever it is that you feel limited by, and you're asking for God's help, you probably could simply give your way out of it. But if you don't have a healthy understanding of the process, the eternal process of God's way of giving, you become a stumbling block in people's way. Now, you need to look up in the scripture and see what it says about being a stumbling block. It isn't that you 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 you're part of the stumbling block industry, or you you are made to be a stumbling block. That's not what I'm talking about. It's just that many things are connected together in the realm of the spiritual and the supernatural ways of God that He brings into being. You're rich in the spirit. But that doesn't mean anything if you can't bring it into the material world. You'll be rich in the spirit and be homeless and poor in the natural. So you've got to really deal with what it means to be a kinsman's redeemer, which means that people are praying. And they're praying to God for sustenance of many kinds. You are a warehouser of that. So God gives it into your warehouse because you are the kinsman redeemer. It's a real area of, uh, of God's plan, God's salvation plan. Now, he became the kinsman's redeemer for us all. It was through his blood that we became free from the slavery to sin that we had. He didn't need that for himself, but it was put on him. Now had he hoarded it, had he kept it, then the Holy Ghost couldn't come. Those are biblical uh, principles that are in the Word of God that you and I have to learn because you can fall in the scripture that says that's the reason many are sickly among us and many sleep. Because we try to take on ourselves the blessings that were meant for others and we try to use them for ourselves just because we have them. It makes you evil. It makes you mean when you're carrying blessings that don't belong to you, that you should let out and let go. But you have become, unlike God, with unconditional love and giving, you're using your conditional love in order not to, not to give. They gotta meet your standard. When it freely, you got it, freely you ought to give it. 
but they got to pay for it to get it from you. That that's a little uh, sting out to all the evangelists and preachers and all of this who have anointed. Some things you have to give, not wanting it back conditionally. I will give it to you, but this is what you got to do to get it. All right. There is scripture I'd like to read to you, and I'd like to add to the to, to the discussion today. Acts 20 and 35. I have it right here. Right here. I have shewed you all things. How that so laboring, you ought to support the weak. And to remember the words of the Lord Jesus. How he said this. It is more blessed to give than to receive. you got to understand that spiritual principle as a kinsman redeemer, as a redeemer, as a gifted person from the New Testament. You've got to remember all these things. You were not gifted for yourself. The gift of salvation that came as the first major gift that all of us received with the Holy Ghost package, but I'm talking about the other gifts. That for, for the growth of the church, for the benefit of the saints, that's not yours to profit off of. Philippians 4.19, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Jesus Christ. you got to know that spiritual principle. James 4.7, submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. This has been a hard lesson a little bit for me, because we get enough reprimand, don't we? We get enough uh, people telling us, this is how, but what I'm saying is not what you should do or how you should do it, but how you should begin to think about it. Think about it. Because if you hoard the blessings, if you sell the blessing that God gave you, that's why there are so many sick among us and so many sleep. Now, that God bless you. The responsibility of the kinsman redeemer may not fall upon your shoulders, but it is on mine. It is on many others, you know, on every pastor, on every teacher, on every evangelist, in the fivefold ministry, on every gift, the kinsman redeemer concept from the word of God. You need to learn it. And if you don't know, don't just listen at this blog. If you want to know something, go to the word of God and study. And if you would have wisdom, ask God. A lot of good things are going to happen to you today if you just let them. I love you. And from Kansas City, early history, I put this out to you. Are you happy? If not, why not?